Hey everybody, it's Bruce Tall Guy Miller at Airstream of South Florida, a division of North Trail RV right here in beautiful downtown sunny Fort Myers. So we're gonna take a look today at the 2021 Airstream Atlas, the best of the best, the best in its class. And it's a beautiful rig for 2021. We're gonna talk about what makes it special. We'll start right here with the carefree awning. It does have a seismic sensor in it, so if it gets a little breezy uh, and it shouldn't be out, it will put itself away. See if we can make it do it there, there you go. So it'll just put itself away. So you don't ever wanna have it up in a big rain or a storm or any gusty winds or anything, but that's a nice feature. As we move on around and as that awning goes in, we'll talk about, about this coach body a little bit because it's all built by Airstream. Uh, this, this unit comes in from Mercedes as a cab and chassis, as opposed to a full van. So Airstream builds this part of the body. This is all fiberglass, aluminum frame embedded in a foam core insulation. It has a layer of Asdell under this fiberglass. It has Asdell on the inside walls. And it's really, really nice because it's an automotive look as opposed to an RV look with a bunch of graphics and, and stripes and everything. It has a slight curve to it. It's not just a bunch of flat walls put together by a house of cards, uh, like a house of cards. And you'll notice there's no seams anywhere. There's no seams here, there's no seams around there. It's an all fiberglass roof. Well, guess what? No seams, no leaks. It's really cool. Uh, it also has 15 coats of automotive lacquer on it. The last five, are cut and buffed clear, and you can run your hands over this tr these, uh, these graphics here, and you don't feel an edge at all. It's just absolutely gorgeous. They've gone with the uh, completely streamlined uh, basements down here and steps. You don't even see the steps for the door. Again, that's in keeping with the automotive theme. If I pop this door open, we're gonna see the steps come down. There's also a step hold button, so when we're staying somewhere, I can, I can shut the door and the steps will stay out. That way you don't have to wait on the steps to get out or get in, uh, makes it a little safer. But it's just a really neat setup because unlike any other manufacturer, you don't have a step well in here. Step wells uh, are okay, except that when you're inside and you got the door closed, they're a good place to break an ankle, uh, twist an ankle. Uh, so this is really nice, makes it much safer. And uh, we'll go ahead and close that and let that button up again. As we move on around here, you'll see that we have a lot of storage. There's one there. I'm gonna point out several of them. This one has an outlet and a cable feed in there. So if you wanna plug a TV in out here, that's where you would do it. Back here is our generator. And this has a diesel generator. Little 3200, it's real nice. There's more storage here. We have more storage here. This is a real tall one, and notice this is actually kind of inside the coach, it's above the floor. I can barely reach the, the top in there. By the way, those all have lights in them, uh, that kind of thing. I walked right by one of the neatest features about any uh, Airstream coach in the uh, Interstate EXT line and the Atlas, they all have Alcoa Durabrite rims. That's a huge upgrade and it's really nice because there's a finish on those aluminum wheels. You never have to polish them. Five years from now, just wash them and rinse them. Years from now, they'll look just like they look now. That's, that's a big, big deal. Moving on around, we'll notice that we continue the automotive look back here all streamlined, one of very, very, very few manufacturers that Mercedes allows to put the Mercedes emblem on the back here. That's a huge pat on the back to Airstream. We've got our rear sensors back here for our rear parking sensors. We do have a hitch back here, but unlike with most manufacturers, you don't see it. We've got this cover plate here. It has a full two inch receiver there seven inch or seven pin uh, plug uh, so you can tow 5,000 pounds 500 pound hitch weight it, uh, that's awesome moving on around here this is our systems area this is where we have and you see we've got the the power cord coming out and there's an opening in the bottom 
We've got our city water connection. There's an opening in the bottom, outdoor shower. There's the macerator uh, for the black tank and the, and the gray tank. Here's our propane fill and our propane valve. And when you're hooked up to all those things, there's openings in the bottom. So you can have that door look uh, closed, have a really nice streamlined look with all that connected. Over here, we have a big storage. This is the biggest one. It's all one piece. We do have a, a, a section here in the middle for the doors, but it's all one piece there. A lot of storage. And one really nice thing they did is part of the slide. So when the slide's out, you don't have to crawl up underneath to get into that storage area. Again, there's lights in all of those. Notice there's no, uh, no locks on these. If there were key locks here, not only do, does it give it a little more of a cluttered look, but you're gonna get road grime. You're gonna have issues with locks. Anytime you lock this vehicle with a fob, those are all locked. So that's a really nice feature as well. Uh, this, is, uh, this is something Mercedes does with, that I really like. And that is that we have the fuel fill right here by the door. And the way they've done it, when you shut the door and you're locked up, it is not accessible. So that's great. Uh, we're on the new chassis here, by the way. Uh, when Airstream builds these things and orders these, these chassis from Mercedes, they order it with every single upgrade, every single safety feature, and every single convenience feature that Mercedes offers. No other manufacturer does that. So now we've got what Mercedes calls their high gravity suspension, heavy duty suspension, heavy duty shocks, heavy duty bushings, heavy duty brakes, anti-roll, anti-sway bars front and rear. This has air suspension on it, standard equipment. We've got, uh, we've got the three liter, six cylinder, 188 horsepower, 325 foot pounds of torque. And new for, the, on the new Mercedes chassis, we've got the seven speed transmission. That was a big, a big improvement from the five speed. The five speed was a great transmission, but with the seven, it drives smoother, feels a little peppier and better fuel economy. So you're gonna get somewhere, I, I find most people tell me they're getting 16, 17, maybe even 18 on here. Uh, depends on how you drive, obviously. I tend to have a little bit of a lead foot, so. <laughs> um, we've got side view cameras here. We'll talk about that a little bit inside. One thing I failed to point out up front here is this is actually a step that is in integrated into the bumper, and that is so that you can reach up here to clean the windshield, because it's, it's a little bit of a reach, even for, even for me. <laughs> Um, moving on around, let's take a look inside. So here we are inside of the beautiful 2021 Airstream Atlas. This one happens to be the luxe white interior. So we have our lounge here. The nice thing about this lounge is we have uh, recliners built into it here, which are really nice. Technically they're incliners because the back doesn't move. We have a storage area underneath there as well. So under here is where the tabletops are stored and the blinds for the front cab. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, we have cup holders here, that's new. Uh, this is all Villa furniture, uh, built by Villa in California. It's ultra leather upholstery, very, very durable, very stain resistant, very uh, abrasion resistant, all of that kind of thing. It's real easy to take care of. Now, one neat thing about this Airstream Atlas is the Murphy bed, and it's the only only B plus that I'm aware of with a Murphy bed where you can actually have that Murphy bed down without the slide being out. Now the neat thing about that is if you're traveling, and let's say you're driving late, I like to drive late, and you get tired, you're ready to stop, and you've kind of pushed the envelope, and you don't have a reservation, you don't have a place, maybe there's not something nearby and you need to pull into just say a rest area. Well, you're not allowed to put a slide out there. But because you can put this Murphy bed down without the slide being out, you can pull it down, pull in the rest area, pull it down, get a couple hours sleep, whatever you need, hit the road again, be safe. Uh, now when you do that, we're gonna pull it down here in just a second, you'll see a nice walkway here. When the slide is not out, you will not have that big walkway. So you'll need to get over the bed to uh, access the bathroom and that kind of thing. But you can do it all, everything is accessible. Uh, and that way you can stay somewhere where you're not allowed to put that slide out. Let's put this uh, bed down real quick, show you how this works. It's real simple. You can actually have it uh, put away with the bedding still on it. 
So it's uh, quick and easy. You don't have to build your bed every night. Just push this button, lay this down. Then I'm going to reach back here. There's a latch. I'm going to reach back here and I'm going to pull on this right here and pull the bed down. Now there's an area back here behind the bed. I'm going to step to the other side here. This back here is where you store your pillows and that kind of thing. And you can have your bedding already on the bed. So you pull it down, you grab your pillows, put this back here. This is part of the bed. Put your pillows up there. You sleep this way. Uh, it's an RV King. It's a very comfortable bed. The mattress doesn't look that thick, but when you look under it, we've got the Froley system here, which actually gives it a bit of suspension. So it's very, very comfortable. We also have these gooseneck reading lights at the head of the bed on both sides. We've got USB charging stations. We've got shelves for a bottle of water or your glasses or, or your phone or things like that. We've got reading lights. Uh, we do have power blinds and if you take a look at that blind, I'll show you how those work. Now when that blind comes down, that's actually open. It opened itself because that's the last position it was in. So that's the day shade position, but I can tilt it close to varying degrees and there's the privacy position and I'll just put it back up and the one right here by the television works the same way so that's really neat while we're looking at those kind of things let's take a look at this the sun uh, roof right here over the uh, or skylight I should call it right here over the bed uh, this actually opens so it does have a screen here so we have it open you don't have to worry about the the little uh, no seams that kind of thing it also has a blind so on a hot day, you can keep the heat out. And when you do have it open, it actually has a rain sensor on it. So if it starts to rain, it will close itself. Uh, same with the fantastic vent fan back here. It does have a rain sensor as well. So I'm gonna button this bed back up. Just realize that with this in, you're not gonna have this walkway, but you still can pull it down and have access to everything in, in the Atlas, which is really nice. So I'm gonna fold this back up. I'm going to put my pillows back in there. I'm going to walk over here, release this latch, and lift it up. It's counterbalanced, so it's not heavy at all. Put that back. My bedding's still on there. Put this up. And we're done. Just put the armrests back on. So do that real quick. And the bed is away for the day. There we go. Okay, moving on around here, let's take a look at the galley. Nice uh, sink cover, nice stainless sink with a drying rack down here in the bottom, which is nice. Lid for our little trash can here. Nice cooler faucet with the spray. Here's our cooktop propane because you can use it off the grid. We have a nice little extra work area here that slides out. A couple of storage compartments here, nice drawer, nice cabinet here. So we have a really nice fridge. This is a Nova Cool. This is the fridge section. Down here we have the freezer section. Now the, the Nova Cool is a marine fridge. Uh, so it operates on 12 volt. It actually has compressor just like your fridge at home. Very, very energy efficient. And because it is a compressor fridge, it gets much colder than a uh, traditional RV fridge and it gets colder faster, which is really nice. By the way, the AC in here is all ducted and it's running right now. So you can hear how quiet that is, or maybe you can't hear it and that's my point. <laughs> Back here in the bathroom, nice big shower. I mean, this is a shower that works for me and I'm not a little guy. Here's our, our commode over here in the corner. Here's a laboratory. Here's a part of our Firefly system, which we haven't talked about yet, but we will. This is our suburban hot water heater control. We've got, here we've got a nice cabinet with shelves. This is cedar line too, by the way. And here, the shelf also comes out and it has a, a clothes hanging bar in it. So you've got a nice wardrobe there if you want it. Several, a couple of drawers here. There we go. We've got uh, 
Nice pantry. These are all adjustable up and down. More storage there. Good place for loaves of bread, boxes of cereal and crackers. <clears throat> I skipped the uh, microwave when I was talking uh, about the galley. By the way, that's a convection microwave. So not only can you microwave, you can actually bake in it, which is really nice. Moving on around here, we've got the overhead lockers. Lots of storage there. We've got the Televator TV. I'll push a button here and get the TV up. There we go. Nice Bose sound bar on there. By the way, that sound bar sounds really nice. I've got two of those in my Airstream Classic. Nice drawer here. Down here is our power converter. So think of that as your, your breaker box at home. That's where your breakers and your fuses are. We've got aisle lighting down here. This is uh, Infinity brand flooring. It's a marine floor. It is very, very tough, as, as well you would expect, since it's uh, designed to be used on boats. Uh, it's actually a very tight weave of uh, a PVC type uh, product on a rubber backing. And you can run a, uh, a Dyson on it. You can run a, use a Swiffer on it. It is very, very easy to clean, very stain resistant, and extremely durable. You can actually walk on it with golf cleats, which I would not do, but they say you can walk on it with golf cleats and, and it will not hurt it. So uh, great floor, very pretty, very attractive, very durable. So um, let's look over here. One thing I didn't mention with the door, first off, we've got a nice blind here on the door as well, but we also have a screen door, which is very nice. So you can get a little more fresh air there. Pull that back over. And right here, I want to talk a little bit about this Firefly system. This is really neat. This basically controls the whole coach. However, you don't necessarily have to come here to do everything. There are, there are like remote panels around the coach. There's one right here by the lounge, right here. Uh, there's one in the galley. Uh, there's one in the bathroom. So. You can control things that are regional to where you are without having to get up and come over here. For instance, here you can put the TV up and down, and shades and lights, that kind of thing as well. But if I go to the home screen here, we've got kind of an overview. Here's light master, awning extend retracts, uh, temperature. Here's our tank levels, tank heater, autofill, water pump, that kind of thing. Generator controls all right here, but we can drill down uh, if I hit this, it's going to take me right to the Lightmaster um, Light panel where I can control each individual one, like I can turn just the awning lights off, which I just did. Turn them back on. If you see the up and down arrow, that means they're dimmable. You can adjust them. Uh, awning light, patio light, handle light, undercarriage light, I don't have those on at the moment, but if I want to shut everything off at once, boom, everything's off and everything's on. Here's our uh, electrical controls. Uh, we've got auto gen start on here, it's currently disabled. We can adjust it by time. We can adjust it by battery voltage, that kind of thing, so it'll come on when the batteries get low. Uh, just adjust it to run a certain time of day, that kind of thing. Here's our climate control. So I can choose air conditioner, heat pump, furnace, or auto. Uh, I can adjust the temperatures up and down. It says it's 90 in here, but understand we just walked in here and turned the AC on, so it hasn't had a fair shot. Um, here's our shades we were playing with earlier, but we also have a couple of other things on here. I can do the slide out, awning in and out, skylight open and close, TV lift up and down. And then here's some settings where I can set Fahrenheit or Celsius screen brightness, that kind of thing. One neat thing about this screen is we have a cleaning mode uh, I'm sure you all know how you try to clean a, a screen like this in your car and you're touching it and things are, are happening. This allows me to, to clean it. Uh, if I leave it alone, it will come back on after, for 50, after 15 seconds of not touching it. Now there's some redundant, redundancy to these right here in this cabinet. So here's my solar controller and I can see the solar voltage over here, but I've got it here as well. Slide in and out, we've got that over there. Uh, here is our uh, uh, stabilizer jacks. We didn't talk about the stabilizer jacks, but we do have stabilizer jacks on here and there's the control for them. Uh, this is our uh, power control, our power management system. Uh, this power control center here 
That is actually the inverter control. Uh, this is uh, sea level where we can check the battery level, the tank levels, and so on. Again, that's redundant. And here is a, a uh, generator control. Again, that's redundant as well. So we've got some redundancy there. Uh, down here, this is all mechanicals and electronics in here. So this is actually a service access panel, uh, but that's what all that's for. And then we have a lot of storage up here overhead as well. And by the way, if you want to put a Blu-ray player in here or a streaming device or something like that, here's the connections for it. Uh, and you've got the outlet here, you've got the antenna amplifier here, everything, so it's all good. Now this thing is also pre-wired from the factory, and it's not a factory option, but it's pre-wired from the factory for, for satellite. I'm going to go ahead and close this. It's also pre-wired from the factory uh, for the Airstream Connect system, which is your, your Wi-Fi that you can have on the road through AT&T. The antenna's already there and everything, it's just a matter of installing the modem and, and setting things up. So we'll close that. Now let's take a look at a couple of things in the cab. Okay, so here we are in the cab of the new uh, Airstream Atlas. And again, this is the new Mercedes chassis, which is really nice. We've got 12-way adjustable power seats. The controls are on the door, and uh, you can actually get a look at them over there. We've got uh, recline up, down, front, back, all that kind of thing. Uh, there's a lumbar support on, uh, control on the side of the seat. Uh, the, uh, and the bolster control is there as well. And there's a three-way memory, which is really nice because these seats actually swivel and become part of the living area in the coach. And you can set that third position, there's three memories set uh, for a couple of drivers, set that third position for where the position you want them to be in to swivel. And you just hit that button and you can swivel them around, they'll clear everything, it's really, really nice. Uh, one nice thing about that they've done this year is we've got all of these controls on the steering wheel actually have a thumb wheel control here. We've got buttons, a home button. We've got actually on both sides a little trackpad, just like a trackpad you would have on a computer. And in fact, with this right side, I'm actually controlling the center control uh, multimedia system here right now. And I can, uh, if I want it on media, I can just scroll right to media, or I'll just go over here to navigation. And then press, and boom, there's navigation. Uh, I can back up a screen, I can go back over. And what's really neat about this, between the shift paddles here and all of these controls, I can literally control everything in this vehicle without taking my hands away from the steering wheel area with the exception of the power windows and the power seats. So it's very, very safe. We have, we have uh, active collision avoidance, we have adaptive cruise, we have lane keep assist, blind spot assist. This unit actually has thorax airbags. I don't know of uh, what any other manufacturers at the moment that are using thorax airbags. That's the one that comes out and protects your rib cage in a side collision. Mercedes says you have a 40% better chance of surviving a side collision with that thorax airbag than you do without. It's not that expensive. Why would you not have it? Airstream again gets every single safety feature, upgrade and con uh, a convenience feature that there is available, period. Um, this is diesel. I don't know that I mentioned that earlier when I was talking about the 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. That's why you get such good mileage with it and everything. Um, it's very, very quiet though, and I, I mentioned that because I actually have a running right now. And people think, oh wow, that's diesel. Yeah, it's diesel. We have, we have five cup holders on each side. I've got five here. The passenger has five. We've got storage up overhead here. We've got uh, storage here. We've got, it's everywhere. It's just so well thought out. We've got door handles to grab getting in and out. Uh, nice carpet up here. Uh, it's just an amazing, amazing uh, build. Now, one thing that they did, and I've, I've sold RVs for a long time. Back in the 70s when I first started selling them, you had curtain rods around up here for your, uh, for your uh, curtains. And by the way, the, the, the beeping you hear is the is actually the multimedia system because I said Mercedes and that's kind of like saying um, Alexa. <laughs> it's waking it up, wanting to know what I want. So I, I quieted it down there for a moment. Um, but you can't have curtain rods up here anymore because of airbags. So we have three blinds that come with this. The ones that go on the side here are magnetic and they're full blackout blinds. The ones that go on the front here 
are much like a sunshade you would buy for your car, except it's much, much higher end. It actually has vertical spars in it so that it's rigid when you unroll it and put it up there, and then you simply pull down your shades, your uh, visors, and it keeps it in place. So you've got complete privacy up here. It keeps it much cooler. It's complete blackout. You've got these seats turned around. They actually become part of your living area, which is really nice. Now I'm looking up here at the rear view camera. Now, it wouldn't do much good to have a mirror in here because I would just see what's left uh, in, the back of the, uh, in the back of the coach. But what I've got here now is a, a view of about three lanes of traffic while I'm going down the highway. And what's interesting, I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the glare or not, but I have side cameras as well. So if I turn my left turn signal on, it switches and now I am seeing what's next to me on the left. Uh, if I do it the, the other way, it now goes back to center and then I'm going to see what's on the right. So it's, it's really awesome. It's a great vehicle. We'd love to have you stop by, check one out, take a test drive, come see me, Bruce Tall Guy Miller, Derek Wolf Weekly, Tom Watts, Todd Utzman, or Tony French. We'd love to help you out. We're right here at 5270 Orange River Boulevard in Fort Myers, Airstream of South Florida, Division of North Trail RV. This is Bruce Tall Guy Miller saying, see you on the road.